Hello, hello everyone, Huxa Hunter here, and welcome to episode 15 of the Romulan Star Empire. Let's play all the Star Trek New Horizon mod for Stellaris. So, in the last part, we had another war against the Fendamar states. We took a couple of planets away from them, and I don't know how, but I managed to give it to the wrong faction. I did want to give it to the Fendamar committee, but unfortunately, I gave it to the Morale Coalition which the Senate has decreed we should actually integrate them now. And I have looked into this. It will cost us about 300 and odd influence. 339.02 influence to take them, which is significant. If we go below zero influence, the stability of our empire will start to fall. So we need to kind of create a pretty decent buffer before we start integrating them because we will go into negative influence for a while so we just want to uh, make sure we've got enough influence for that so we'll just save up and as a new senator has entered the fray senator stephen clark he has mentioned that we need to sort out our mineral production because if we want to succeed we do need it so what I have done, and what I've been toying with for a while, but I never quite got around to it, and what I've done before the start of the episode, is try and replace planetary uh, focuses to one kind of direct output. So Iota Planis Prime is now getting converted into a mineral planet. Zeta Triangulary Australis is also going to be converted to a primary mineral production. Norkin Prime was already pretty heavy on the power production so I've kind of taken some mineral away from that to try and boost that productivity and as we're now out of minerals I will try and do it for other planets so just make more planetary focuses because you can build buildings that improve the overall efficiency of the planet. So yeah we'll sort that out and obviously we can look at the planets to see just how much mineral production and energy production they are to focus on what is what. I'll probably keep Romulus and Remus balanced as it is because it'll be a bit of a pain in the arse to change. But Romy 3 is quite heavy on the minerals. But yeah, that'll probably be the next to focus on minerals as well because we're quite good. I'm still toying with releasing the Gone, but I don't think we can vassalize them without a war, which will take another 10 years to be able to declare war on them. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. Like, I am happy to release them now because we have got enough mineral and energy credit production to survive. But it is that survival, not a massive, uh, a massive bounty, should I say. So we would definitely want to eat away at them. And the Cleons, I don't ever think we're going to get an alliance. Uh, as much minerals, energy, food anything we start throwing at them they're just it's not going to get us that strong in the opinion because now they think we are a threat so our opinion is dropping like a rock so it might be time to think about taking some of their worlds that they have so dishonorably colonized next to our empire so i could take one, two, three, four, five, six worlds potentially from them, seven worlds potentially from them, and sure up our empire's reach in this region, wait another ten years and go after their core worlds. I might want to leave, or maybe I do want to create a second border against the uh, Federation to make it so when eventually we do butt heads, which we will do, we can invade from the Devron system and potentially the Klingon front of Jurette and Beta Pictoris could invade on two fronts, would be interesting. The Gorn, we could potentially take a few worlds from them and then vassalize them later on with a more core region. Potentially, that's my ideas. Do let me know what you think in the Senate about that. Yeah, I mean, we've got another 10 years-ish before we can attack the Fendamar again and... I don't know how long we're going to take for that 
expect to be able to start integrating the Morales states, but that is going to happen. The Morales Coalition, should I say. Uh, yes. Unity, 115 months until we can get all in prosperity, which will decrease the mining station build cost. Oh no, the finisher effect is terraforming cost reduced by minus 20%, and then I'll be able to get some more ascension perks. Which will be glorious, so I'm going to pause the game finally, I've been talking probably a bit too long about the uh, current affairs. We have a little bit of an unrest problem on our newly conquered world of Kastava, but I am sending legions to quell this animosity. So yeah, I think that is what we're going to do. Dominion are now guaranteed the independence of the Vardwar supremacy. I was also taking a look at the Galactic Core and thinking how juicy it looks, but we will need to send Frontier Outposts over there if we are to gain some decent uh, footholds. There's not really planets here. I mean, there's that one on the edge, which is colonizable. Probably not for me. Oh my god, it needs. Yeah. Was it so far? Yeah. That's uh, probably not possible. To do even building a frontier outpost probably would cost a ridiculous amount of influence. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm probably just going to leave it as is for now. Also, what has been mentioned on the Senate floor is: can we take this this uh, place, Rato, from uh, the Orion Stellar Alliance? No, fortunately not. It is a vassal under the Benzite Commonwealth. And if I were attacked the Benzites, they would probably bring in, well, not probably, they would bring in the Tellarites, the Denobulans, the United Federation of Planets, the Bolian League. They would also probably bring in anyone else they've got a defensive pact with, which actually looks like they don't. Oh, but they're all, yeah, we would also go to war with them anyway, in general. Oh, now they've revoked it from that. The United Floridian Province is now guaranteeing the Breen. Okay. As you do. As you do. So, yes. Might be a bit of a weighty episode. I'm not entirely sure what we can do at the moment. I mean,. Absolutely ridiculous how much territory the Ferengi own. Absolutely ridiculous. The Breen, they're just starting to get swallowed up. You've got the Nibirite Alliance, you've got the Tholians. I mean, over here, you've got the Dominion, the Herc, Stagnancy, the Voth, Research the Borg, complete. of course. Let's see what the Borg are doing. Okay. Increasing technology. Geothermal fracking, minerals plus 5%, triangle bolt, explosives, mining network 4, industrial district 4, research station build cost, mining station build cost reductions, buzzard collector. Ooh. Probably going to go for the minerals plus 5% first. And for physics, a selenium computer, that's pretty good. PXK Pergium Reactor is rare, but we don't actually have any Pergium, do we? Don't think so. Inverse Tachyon Sensor Array? Ooh, maybe. Resettlement a Bioneural Gel Computer Core. Yeah, I think the Isolinear Computer is probably going to be the better choice of those. Cool. So I do wonder if there's anything we can upgrade. Looks like we can. Just go through and do that for now. Any upgrades to make? Do it. Cool. Just check that. that I... It is. Why is that minus minerals? That's weird. Oh, commodity exchange. Ah. Federation, of course. Not going to spend any that. Commodity exchange. Maybe I will change it to something else. Starport. Instead. Because we don't have any minerals anymore. 
Which is fair. Which is fair. Oh. Mobbing this really pushes... Pushes it to the extreme. It's going to take a while for these to convert. So we'll probably won't see the benefits of this for a while. Oh my god, consumer goods 500.2 units minus 365. Oh my. Our officers have failed to successfully sabotage the plotting efforts of the Federation. Worse, some evidence our involvement has remained unaccounted for. Uh oh. Oh well. What you gonna do? Oh. Uh, Fadwa, the Nork. I mean, I could think about attacking someone else. But I, no, I. Sorry, I can't do that, can I? Like, I literally Station cannot get across complete. to the Tiklatic core. Can't go through the Ferengi. So it kind of does seem to be like, are we going Station to just conquest complete. the Klingons and the Gorns? Because they refuse to step the line. I mean, the Gorns have been quite loyal in their tribute of energy credits and minerals, so I can't fully complain about them. But I can think about it, can't I? Oh, yes, we were building over to Deridex class starship from Romulus. Could improve our fleet power just a tad. But yeah, we're going to integrate them shortly. Probably looking at... Oh my god, probably about 50 months, maybe? Before we get enough influence to integrate them properly. I mean, 50 months will go by fairly quickly, but not incredibly quickly. It will take a while for that to happen. Alright, 40.8k fleet. And we can upgrade, actually. Let's do that. So yeah, 40k fleet will do nicely. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's slightly improving from before the cordial, which isn't amazing considering the fact that we are supposed to be staunch allies. It's supposed to be is the uh, operative term. Oh no, Praetor has passed away. Damn. I don't want to. I can't spend any either. Research group with the Morale Coalition. Okay. We'll have to see what happens then, I guess. For the election. Carry on. Ships have been upgraded. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Trade Treaty with the Bajoran Republic has timed out. Orion Free States now guarantee. Oh. Praetor Akafith Parthok. Uh oh. Arganira, why are you upset? Uh, I don't know. It's weird. I guess I'll build more armies. I mean, why not? Quell any thoughts of rebellion. Hey, what are you doing? Norkadin. Harmony. Arcadian. That should be alright. Ah, our transport fleet landing here as well. They should not be as upset. The Olean Assembly has declared war on the Temerian unity. Oh, damn. We were thinking about attacking the Temerians, but the Senate ruled against that. And sometimes I am a benevolent, benevolent praetor. I have listened, listened to the counsel of my wise Senate. 
And yes, I will heed, heed your advice. But maybe they will be a target when we take over the Klingon and go on Hitchmany. It could be a thing to happen. Seventy-eight months now. So we're probably going to be able to start integrating the uh, Morale Coalition before we gain our next Ascension perks, which I actually have no idea what we could go for. Uh, World Shaper, Terraforming Steed plus fifty percent, Galactic Force Prediction, Naval Capacity plus seventy-five percent. Uh, 75. 75% would be great. Uh, Interstellar Dominion, Border Range, Mind Over Matter, Unity Output, One Vision, Governing Ethics Attraction, and Mastery of Nature. I suppose the Senate could start voting on what to take, because these are the only ones we can take. World Shaper, Galactic Force Projection, Interstellar Dominion, Mind Over Matter, One Vision, and Mastery of Nature. What I would possibly be thinking about is the Interstellar Dominion. And, ooh, Shaper, Mastery of Nature. Okay, one for me, definitely Interstellar Dominion. On my, that, If I have a vote, that is my vote. And then I would probably toss it up between Galactic Force Projection, World Shaper, and Mastery of Nature for my second vote. I'm kind of equally happy with either all of those. I don't know if Mind Over Matter or You One Vision would be worth it. But do let me know what you think in the Senate of that. Okay. Because an extra bit of border protrusion could potentially have us securing a couple of extra resources that are just on the tip of our range. Could help. Benzite started to integrate the Orion Stellar Alliance. Oh yeah, so they're they're going to not exist anymore. Research complete. Search complete, minerals plus 5%. Ooh, yes, give it to me. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. It looks like it's lost the uh, improved mining technology, because sometimes it does that. Um, but I could get zero compression techniques, which would allow me to build a mineral silo too, storage bay too, and increase the mineral storage capacity, which I'm going to do. Bio labs are going to be done in a couple of months. Station complete. Isolating the computer in two years. The Waddy, what are you doing? In my space. Yeah, let's have a look at these guys. How long have I got a truce with them? 23, 22, so it's possibly going to be end of the war before, before long. I feel sorry for them in some ways, but I mean, if you want to be my vassal, I am fine. Oh, our operators have successfully leaked a series of damaging communications from the Federation diplomatic mission on Trillius Prime. The Trill Union government has condemned the Federation individuals involved in the communication. Our Milan involvement remains undisclosed. Bizarre. That oh, actually successful uh, Talshar operations does actually boost influence so it might not take too long to uh, start integrating the rally coalition we will see but when we do of course we will gain any extra resources they do in the form of the uh, sector of course but that will help although these guys they're going to be alone unless we can mm, take yakuri but yakuri's got like three planets hasn't it? it's ridiculous 
Research complete. Search complete, biolab or Okay, let's pause for a second. Cultural Center, Civilian District, Xeno Zoo, Tribbles. <gasps> I didn't know there were Tribbles. Uh, possibly a bad idea. Interstellar Stock Exchange. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, of course. Plus 25 is not... Not really worth it, is that? Is it? Really? I'm going to go for Interstellar Stock Exchange. That would be much, much more preferable. You can't upgrade you, just lying. Pro Plaza. Remus. Nope. Romy. Yep. Lintara. Yep. Norkin Prime. Uh, Yepperoni. Nice improved stuff there. Ooh. Probably got enough minerals to start. Bring other things as well. Why is 0.3 Romulan ale collected? Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Star charts with the Tholians. Yes, I guess. Yes, it was probably going to be Glyn Tara 1 I convert our plant. Yes. Place that with a mineral processing plant. How are we doing on food? We're okay on food actually. Uh that place that with a mineral silo, I think. Do 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 do. Can I? I've already got one. Or am I not able? Oh yeah, I've already got one. Never mind. But yes, just place that with my work. Boom. Cool. I think that will actually really help our resources. Like I say, it will take us a while to actually see the effects of our labour of love with fixing the economy of the Romulan Empire, which has been kind of a theme for the last 15 episodes. It's always a bit like, oh shit, do I need to build more energy? Do I need more minerals? It's, yeah, it's a bit of a juggle, I'd say. Actually, probably more so with the mod than the base game, because it seems that everything costs, especially ships, cost a lot more than Station the base game, complete. I've noticed, which does have its Perks in Station a way. Complete. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to know the Senate's opinions on the Klingon and Gorns. Because I think it's high time that we expand, even with our so called friends. Because we probably need to expand or die at this point. I mean, we are doing it with the Fendamar slowly, but we could be doing it with the Fendamar, the Gorn, and the Klingons alternately. So, like, war, finish, done, heal up a bit, war, finish, done, heal up a bit, war, finish, done, heal up a bit. So, like, I can chip away at three empires at once, in a way, rather than attack, wait ten years, attack, wait ten years, attack, wait ten years, attack, wait ten years, until I finally finish the end game with the Fendamar, and then I go. Oh, right, maybe now I can attack something else. Like, let me know what you think. Volumes of Clear War on the Orion. The poor Orions, they're just. They're just not. Not having it, are they? Not having it. Huh. Generic TNG era ship class. Oh, poor. Poor thing. It's just generic. Anyway. Borders opened between the Breen. Okay, whatever. I'm not, not overly phased about that.
290, so we're getting close to uh, the amount we're going to need to integrate. 339.02. Oh, 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 hold on to your horses. Tafabelka, why is that so unhappy? Impoverished conditions. Recently conquered Romulan Ale plus two. Eh. I guess. I actually don't think there can be any more armies in here. It literally has. Yeah, well, I can't. I can't do anything about that. It's literally. It's as good as it's going to get. Our space pole. I don't know what I'm talking about. Of course it's a bloody spaceport, you pleb. I was like, oh no, it's a, I thought it was not a spaceport, but a habitat, orbital habitat. That's what I thought it was for a second. But maybe that's the one that's upset, but no. Just the main planet. I mean, it's not like I just conquered them or anything, right, guys? Surely they must recognise the... Uh, glory of being a part of the Romulan Empire. My bright alliance has made peace with the Breen Confederacy. That might mean the Klingons are out of the war Black now. Witch, nope. blue, blue. They are part of the war with the Orion dispute, apparently. Okay, whatever. Do what you want. Oyster was a way to be like, oh no, you know my uh, tributary, how about you become a vassal instead? Uh, minerals for Charlie MD, yes. Take the route out of the United Laredian provinces, oh. That's quite a development. Frankie, you're just unstoppable. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Alright, we're very, very close now. 50 months away from the improved Unity. Uh, traditions. Research complete. Research complete. Isolating computers. Okay. Assist research. Pergium. Power plants. I don't have Pergium. I don't know why it's saying that. Combat sensor. Telecartography. I think combat sensor 2 is probably my best choice. So I will take it. Nine months remaining on Mineral Silo 2 and Storage Bay 2. Rangis entered an aggression pact with the Brain Nation. Is that the one that they've liberated? Station complete. Yes. The Brain Consortium and the Brain Nation have uh, sprung up. Oh, actually, Brain itself. Oh dear. Interesting. Ruthless Capitalists. Which is probably from a war with the Ferengi. Rule of acquisition number 34. War is good for business. Yes, indeed. Oh dear, we lost a bit of influence. So all that progress we made with Peroni. Okay, next time I will not do a Tarshiar operation to not potentially damage our influence. We want to integrate the Morali coalition sooner rather than later. And borders open, okay. A couple of years away from the Fendamar again, so I'll possibly get my fleet into position. Ready to go. Gonna send it to orbit around Ferdera. So it's in striking distance of the enemy. I've got loads of transport fleets still, still floating about. Hey, why are you not being collected? Okay. Station complete. Okay. 
Minerals. One flea can't. Yep. I'm happy to have mineral. Where's my storage capacity now? Ooh, actually quite a lot. My energy credits one isn't amazing though. Of course. Research complete. So research complete. All mineral silo two and storage bay two. Very good. Mass scale nanobot reconstruction. Oh my. All ships slowly regenerate. Effect on allied ships. And this is a dry dock thing. Hmm. It's, it's good, but it's only for dry docks. Mining Network 4, that's possibly the year. As much as that would be cool, it sounds cool, it doesn't seem to be. It's just a repair or around. Yeah. It'd be good if I needed to do that a lot in war, like quickly go and heal, but I don't need to do that generally. So, unless it was like nanite repairs as a ship module, that would be awesome, and that would be just something that I would pick. Like, no doubt about it, I would just pick that. That would seriously help our ships, but we're fine. We are fine. I'm actually quite glad that we can send our 42 fleet power ship, ship, ships, uh, our fleet out and still be fine. And I mean the ship maintenance is ridiculous. Like don't get me wrong, it is absolutely ridiculous how much we need to upkeep these things. But it is possible within the realms of possibility and even with the gone we'd only just be negative right now, which isn't bad at all. But I don't think Yeah. We don't get that much minerals from the gone. So we're fine in that regard, I suppose. It's just the energy credits that we were really, like, in desperate need of. So, yes. Hey. Remus. Why is Remus upset? What? What are you doing? Why are you upset? Lack of slaves, I suppose. Yeah. There seems to be like random influxes of unhappiness that happen. I mean, we are decadent, I suppose, and we do, we do value slavery. Oh, 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 oh. Are we ready? Are we ready? Uh, let's wait. Just a, there we go. Integrate. So integration has begun. We have enough influence to do that. We are not going to do any Telshiar operations in case it affects us negatively, but we're going to integrate the Morali Coalition. Huzzah! Glorious victory. Can I not orbit around here and not have any... Huh. Seems... I don't like that. Weird. That's great, I'll go upgrade my fleet. <laughs> Which means they're going to... Eh. They could, they could go to Zakdon, that's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. Cool beans. Can't be that far away. 30 months away. The pursuit of profit. Which is probably going to give us a significant boost to our Unity production. Station complete. Because of uh, the plus, well, the plus two Unity. Our hub. Which will be glorious, I would say. Cool. So many things. I might just. Close a couple of tabs so I can actually see what's going on. There we go. So I can see the integration. 28 months remaining. Not too long. Not too long. How about research? How are we doing there? Two months remaining for the combat sensor, three months remaining for the interstellar stock exchange, 21 months remaining for the mining. They call it a mine. 
Go and upgrade the silo on there. Upgrade the silo on there too. Oh. End of the Fendemar Combine. What? Uh. What? Uh, hell? This happened. Didn't we take this? Research complete. I am um, confused what's happened now. Not to contrast, we should declare war against. Oh, are they invited me? Ah! Interesting. No. No thanks. Anyway, combat sensors. Initial damper 2. Field generator 2. I actually would think about getting that one. Base discriminator 3. Yeah, I'm going to get the field generator 2. Something has changed. Like these have changed. Research I'm not complete. imagining it, am I? Interstellar stock exchange. Cool. Order range. Ooh. Manifest. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Manifest destiny. You can't have a name like that and not have me take it. Oh, who's dead? Praetor. Efkath. Parathok. Uh oh. I can't. I can't elect anything, I'm busy integrating the Morale Coalition at this moment in time. So you will have to direct your political nominations elsewhere, as I am busy. <laughs> oh, Class K Adaptable? What? You know we had an adaptable planet. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Adaptable planet. Oh, than that one. Ah. Need terrestrial sculpting. Uh oh. Slaves rally on Romy 3. Shit. Station complete. Find a scientist, I need a new scientist. Affirmative. Affirmative. So unrest plus twenty Ah, so it's not It's not the end of the world as we know it. But it's not amazing either. I was like, oh shit, a rebellion. Please don't. Not now. But it looks like we're okay. After the Imperial fleet is done there, I will send them to Romy 3. If they want to rebel, Ships upgraded. they can rebel. Oh, my fleet power's gone down. That's no good. What have we done? Probably done something in... Oh my. Shield hit points there is ridiculous. But it's probably going to be nigh on impossible to take down the shields if that's the case. But the fleet is on its way. I mean, anywhere that's got any unrest, I probably should just give it a good old boosty with the defensive armies. We're on the coalition eight months. So that's done. Well, I ran of gold and combat now. Oh. Ah, yeah, I'll be fine. Sure, we will be more than able to deal with such pathetic attempts from uh, that. So many rogue planets about. Not even funny. 
but we will definitely see what's what when we get the Manifest Destiny. Vendemar states have closed the borders, I mean, whatever. Do what you want. I will attack you regardless. Incoming transmission. Morai Coalition. Okay, I mean, you're not going to give me any more star charms, but you're giving me some minerals before we integrate you. But you got to think, that's kind of like nice to like, oh, we're going to pretend that we're doing a diplomatic deal with you while we're integrating, because, because we're nice like that. Because we're nice like that. We're just going to give you some extra minerals. Three months remaining. Soon. Soon. I'm not sure I will fully integrate the Fendermark Committee, um, not for a while anyway, because we do get an improved um, free fleet levies from vassals. So we're getting 46.4 naval capacity from them, which is actually from the Mirai Coalition as well, but the Fendermark Committee should give us enough, so to speak. Oh, almost there. One month remaining. One month remaining. Soon, soon, there we go, it's done. Oh, we've got a huge space station, yay. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know why you get these. They don't seem to have anything worthwhile, but that's what I've done, isn't it? That's what they've done. Right. Sectors, sectors, sectors. Now, oh. easier. I close this. Crap, I can't afford it. I have not done that very well at all. Oh no. As if I need the influence to do that, I want to sort out my. Oh god damn it. God damn it. I give them minerals. I mean, I've got plenty at the moment. God, what? Is that because of this pro- oh god. I don't have the influence to fix it, do I? Oh god. I want to add systems. I'll try investigation. I'm kind of busy right now do that. Maybe I can do it this way. And fix it. That seems to have done it. I've still got 8 out of 6. Why have I still got 8 out of 6? Where? What? Oh, these ones. Okay. Okay. Get pressing the wrong bloody one. I'm like, ah. Right. Verdera. Verdera. Where's Fredera and why do I have it? Oh yes, it's that one. Ah. I'll create a new sector. Boop. I thought I almost ruined everything. <laughs> Damn. 
Okay. Do that and I'll give it some resources to go. But yeah, that is that. I've also got some extra sh shit that I don't, don't, don't need. Get rid of their pathetic fleets. Have I got any civilian ships? To oh my god, so many. Federation planets, low intensity operations, go, go, go. Can I not? Yeah, that'll work, I guess. I don't need so many things. Search complete. Hold on. Mining network 4, industrial addicted 4. Very good. Military station build costs, don't really use it. Dilithium harvesting chain chamber. Sensor. Blah, blah, blah. Sensor. Station based, dilithium processing center 3. That could be a good one. Yeah, okay. Piezoelectric field harvesters is a go. Do it. Very good. Very good. So yeah, I think I could wait until the end of the traditions. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. We're already probably about 40, 45 minutes into an episode. Ah, screw it. Let's, let's carry on. See what's what. We are going to, well, we can declare war again. On, no, no. Not that. On the lovely Fendemar states. I still doubt we can vassalize them. Very much so, I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not even funny. How much that would take. I actually don't know if I used this before, but you can I should just search what you want. Seed planet. There we go. Build cam. Uh, seed planet. Welcome. That. What frontier outposts? What do they have? Yamitha, Shimmerol. Do you have anything over here? Yamitha, Shimmerol, Hithara. I don't think they do. Not around here, they don't. Okay, so war score is 16. Oh, 69? <laughs> So, what else? I could get them to concede Fendemar Prime. Uh, Yamitha. Yamitha could be one as well. I mean, I'm going to make the Fendemar Committee stronger, but it's not going to be bad for me in general. 86. What about Hicklam? What's Hicklam like? Hicklam. Oh, should. Oh, I'll do it. 104. Damn. Ah, oh, excellent. 6. I could humiliate them. I oh, know I can't. It's too. It's too strong! Um. Cheapest war call are uh, liberating, uh, liberating, but I don't really want to do that. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Research agreement. Yeah, why not? And it just got rid of all the stuff we've just done. Why did you do that again? Or why did I click that? Uh, why you do this? Uh, okay. Well. Let me know what you think. You might have all been screaming, don't do that, don't do that. So I will leave that to the Senate and leave the episode as it is. We've got some major kind of questions, I suppose, for this one. 
What do we do about the Klingon Empire? What do we do about the Gorn Hegemony? How should we conduct the next war against the Fendemar states? And yes, I suppose that is about it. And what do you think about our mineral and uh, energy credits kind of solution by making primary exports of planets to focus on maximizing productivity? They've given me a gift of minerals. I'm um, okay. Cool. But yeah, let me know what you think. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did and a comment down below. Or if you didn't like it, the dislike button is right next to it. Please feel free to follow me on social media on Twitter at HexoTheHunter and on Twitch, HexoTheHunter as well. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.